North of the metro, almost to Iowa, barely a stop on a winding country road, you'll find Skidmore, Missouri. Like the trucks that pass through this dying town on their way to someplace else, most folks grow up and move away. But Bobby Jo Stinnett wasn't allowed to make that choice. She was taken from Skidmore, leaving behind her husband Zeb and her daughter Victoria Jo. I said, I sure hope that nothing bad happened. And he said, well, it has. It's a homicide. It's the case that shocked her pastor, Harold Hammond. Folks around the metro and across the country, two families and two towns brought together by one deplorable act. Now, almost one year later, the real story behind the lives of Bobby Joe Stinnett and Lisa Montgomery. She's got a tomboy. She likes horses and stuff. Gene Day is Bobby like Joe's grandfather, a man of few words, but lots of memories of the little girl who looked up to him as a father figure. What do you remember about that day when, when she got married? I walked her down the aisle. You did? Yeah. Oh, that had to be a big honor for you. Yeah. Bobby Jo loved animals. She bred rat terriers. Today, two remain at her grandparents. Police say it was Bobby Jo's love of dogs that connected her to Lisa Montgomery, living a quiet country life in Melbourne, Kansas, 175 miles away. Oh, I remember the little old-fashioned girl that she was, that she portrayed herself to be. Kay Salisbury knew a side of Lisa from the crafting talents they shared, and Lisa, like Bobby Joe Stinnett, also loved dogs. In fact, they're pictured here together after meeting briefly at a dog show. Bobby Joe and her husband Zeb on the right, Lisa second from the left. Some say this is how Lisa knew Bobby Joe was pregnant. The folks here in Melbourne say Lisa Montgomery was a newcomer to them. She'd only been here a couple of years and pretty much kept to herself until one day she showed up in town showing off her new baby, popping in and out of stores all over Main Street. But soon the truth would be obvious. Lisa fooled everyone, including her own husband. And Kevin was just such a proud papa boy. He, he had a smile on his face from ear to ear, and he just was so happy. He, he just, he, you couldn't have got him out of the clouds for another month. Forget a month, Kevin's happiness didn't even last two days. That was a precious baby. The baby whom Lisa named Abigail wasn't Kevin's, she wasn't Lisa's. She was the tiny life cut too soon from Bobby Joe Stinnett's butchered body. It was just a traumatic thing. On that day, so, last December, yeah. Bobby Joe's neighbor, Reverend Hammond, unknowingly sat about 100 yards away from the crime scene. And I looked out the window then, and it was parked over. In fact, there was a sheriff's car, two or three cars, an ambulance, and I just figured, well, it, um, Bobby Joe was having her baby. The last time anyone spoke to Bobby Joe alive, a woman named Darlene was coming to buy one of her dogs. Police say Darlene was really Lisa Montgomery. Did you know any of this was going, I'm not going on? Nowhere. Within a day, the story of two mothers now included two grieving husbands. Families are mighty precious to me, and I hope they are to him. He's, he's got a, he, Zeb and Victoria Joe got a rough road to go. Nearly a year later, Skidmore is still a quiet town. Bobby Joe's family clings to her memory, and folks say Zeb's moved on. Zeb is doing good, and he's adapted. He's a wonderful father. But in Melvern, My heartstrings just are broken for Lisa's children. Desiree Bowman is Lisa Montgomery's oldest daughter. Does time make it easier? Yeah, you just kind of learn to move on and just, there's speed bumps in life and you just gotta go over them. But there are still so many questions. For Bobby Joe's grandpa, will the pain ever go away? You know, I still see people come down the street and think it's her. Do you really? Yeah. And for Lisa's friend, Wonderful. what turned a Midwestern mom into an accused murderer? It's so hard for me to think about this and think about Lisa doing something like that because you can't be bad forever and raise children like she did.